In this video, we will go over 20 physical science questions for the AFOQT test. If you learn the concepts, you can answer them correctly. Let's get started. Number 1. Which of the following metals attracts magnets? A. Aluminum, B. Copper, C. Zinc, or D. Iron. The correct answer is D. Iron. This is because in substances such as iron, cobalt, and nickel, the electrons spinning in opposite directions are not equal. This makes the atoms in these substances strongly magnetic. When they are placed in a magnetic field, they show magnetic properties. Number 2. Which of the following is an example of a longitudinal wave? A. Wave in the water surface, B. Sound waves, C. Electromagnetic waves, or D. Microwaves. The correct answer is B. Sound waves. This is because longitudinal waves are waves in which the vibration of the medium is parallel to the direction the wave travels and the displacement of the medium is in the same direction as the wave propagation. Sound waves are longitudinal waves. When longitudinal waves travel through any given medium, they also include compressions and rarefactions. Number 3. The process by which the warmer parts of a fluid rise and the cooler parts sink when heated is known as a. Radiation, b. Conduction, c. Convection, or d. Transformation. The correct answer is c. Convection. It is because convection is the process of heat transfer by the bulk movement of molecules within fluids such as gases and liquids. The initial heat transfer between the object and the fluid takes place through conduction, but the bulk heat transfer happens due to the motion of the fluid. Number 4. Which is an example of a vector? A. Density, B. Displacement, C. Energy, or D. Time. The correct answer is B. Displacement, scalars are quantities that are fully described by their magnitude, or numerical value, alone. Density, energy, and time are scalar quantities. Vectors are quantities that are fully described by both a magnitude and a direction. Displacement is a vector, quantities. Number 5. Which is the name of the force that acts on a body moving in a circular path and is directed toward the center around which the body is moving? A. Centrifugal force, B. Centripetal force, C. Turning force, or D. Torque. The correct answer is B. Centripetal force. This is because a centripetal force is a force that makes a body follow a curved path. Its direction is always orthogonal to the motion of the body and towards the fixed point of the instantaneous center of curvature of the path. Number 6. What substance can neutralize a base spill? A. Sodium hydroxide, B. Citric acid, C. Solution of sodium chloride, or D. Water. The correct answer is B. Citric acid. This is because acid and base neutralize each other and produce salt and water. Number 7. A buffer with a pH greater than 7 is made from a weak base, and one of its salts is A. Alkaline buffer, B. Acidic buffer, C. Neutral buffer, or D. Salt buffer. The correct answer is B. Acidic buffer. A buffer solution is an aqueous solution consisting of a mixture of a weak acid and its conjugate base, or vice versa. Its pH changes very little when a small amount of strong acid or base is added to it. Number 8. Atoms of the same element that gain or lose electrons and can be positively or negatively charged are called A. Isobars, 
B, ions, C, isomers, or D, isotopes? The correct answer is B, ions. This is because an ion is an atom or molecule with a net electrical charge. The charge of an electron is considered to be negative by convention, and this charge is equal and opposite to the charge of a proton, which is considered to be positive by convention. Ions are positively or negatively charged atoms of the same element that gain or lose electrons. Number 9. Elements within a group have the same number of a. Energy levels, b. Neutrons, c. Valence electrons, or d. Protons. The correct answer is c. Valence electrons. This is because in chemistry and physics, a valence electron is an electron in the outer shell associated with an atom, and that electron can participate in the formation of a chemical bond if the outer shell is not closed. Elements of the same group have the same number of valence electrons. Number 10. Which of the following can affect the rate of a chemical reaction? A. Change temperature. B. Change pressure. If there is gas, C. Change concentration. Or D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. This is because the chemical reactions are affected by the change of temperature, the change of concentration, and the change of pressure, if there is gas. Number 11. A naturally occurring solid made of a single mineral or a mixture of minerals, organic or inorganic, is called A, or B, rock, C, sediment, or D, mantle. The correct answer is B. Rock. This is because rock, in geology, is a naturally occurring and coherent aggregate of one or more minerals. Such aggregates constitute the basic unit of which the solid earth is composed and typically form recognizable and mappable volumes. Number 12. Your city has been covered in heavy rain and dark cloudy skies for several days. Which of the following is the cause of this weather? A. Warm front, B. Cold front, C. Stationary front, or D. Warm air mass. The correct answer is C. Stationary front. A stationary front is a weather front or transition zone between two air masses, cold and warm, when neither air mass is advancing into the other at a speed exceeding 5 knots at the ground surface, if one or both air masses are humid enough, cloudy skies and prolonged precipitation are recurring, whether from storm trains or mesocyclone systems. Number 13. As part of the water cycle, water evaporates and enters the atmosphere. What happens to that water vapor that has entered the atmosphere? A. Infiltration, B. Precipitation, C. Condensation, or D. Transpiration. The correct answer is C. Condensation. This is because as part of the water cycle, water evaporates, enters the atmosphere, and then condenses. Number 14. Which layer of the Earth comprises the greatest percent of the planet's volume? A. Inner core, B. Outer core, C. Mantle, or D. Crust. The correct answer is C. Mantle. A mantle is a layer within a planet that is bounded below by the core and above by the crust. Mantles are made of rock or ice and are generally the largest and most massive layer of the planetary body. Mantles are characteristic of planetary bodies that have undergone differentiation by density. Number 15. Which type of rock is made up of the erosion of material broken from other rocks and cemented together? A. Igneous rock, B. Sedimentary rock, C. Metamorphic rock, or D. Quartzite.
The correct answer is B. Sedimentary rock. This is because sedimentary rocks are types of rocks that are formed by the accumulation or deposition of mineral or organic particles at Earth's surface, followed by cementation. Sedimentation is the collective name for processes that cause these particles to settle in place. Number 16. Which of the following occurs when the moon lines up between Earth and the sun, the moon covers the sun, blocking sunlight? A. Lunar shading, B. Solar covering, C. Lunar eclipse, or D. Solar eclipse. The correct answer is D. Solar eclipse. This is because a solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between Earth and the sun, thereby obscuring Earth's view of the sun either totally or partially. Such an alignment coincides with a new moon, indicating the moon is closest to the plane of the Earth's orbit. In a total eclipse, the disk of the sun is fully obscured by the moon. Number 17. The hot balls of plasma and gases in space are known as a. stars, b. nebulas, c. solar objects, or d. white dwarfs. The correct answer is a. stars. Stars are huge celestial bodies made mostly of hydrogen and helium that produce light and heat from the churning nuclear forges inside their cores. Number 18. What term is used for the sun, planets, and all the other objects that revolve around the sun? A. Star system, B. Sun family, C. Planetary system, or D. Solar system. The correct answer is D. Solar system. This is because the solar system is the gravitationally bound system of the sun and the objects that orbit it. It formed 4.6 billion years ago from the gravitational collapse of a giant interstellar molecular cloud. The vast majority of the system's mass is in the Sun, with most of the remaining mass contained in the planet Jupiter. Number 19. There are large areas of clouds of gas and dust in interstellar space, the regions in space where stars are born or where stars explode at the end of their lives. What is the name of these areas? A. Pulsars, B. Nebulas, C. Black holes, or D. Galaxies. The correct answer is B. Nebulas. A nebula is a giant cloud of dust and gas in space. Some nebulae, more than one nebula, come from the gas and dust thrown out by the explosion of a dying star, such as a supernova. Other nebulae are regions where new stars are beginning to form. For this reason, some nebulae are called star nurseries. Number 20. Which of the following is closest in mass to a white dwarf? A. Jupiter, B. Mars, C. Earth, or D. The Sun. The correct answer is D. The Sun. This is because a white dwarf is a stellar core remnant composed mostly of electron degenerate matter. A white dwarf is very dense, its mass is comparable to the sun's, while its volume is comparable to the earth's. Download the AFOQT tutoring app for iOS or Android for more practice.